Hey, it's Dr. Scott Watson with a quick video describing how to convert audio files that are not compressed like AIF or WAV, WAV files, how to convert those to MP3. You see, AIF and WAV files are full fidelity uncompressed. They're usually about 10 times the size of MP3 audio, which is Music Pictures Expert Group Layer 3. That's what MP3 stands for. But those MP3 files are compressed, and it's a really great compression that is usually about a tenth of the size of the original uncompressed audio, and yet it sounds great. It's almost undiscernible, the difference in quality. So a lot of times it's actually very um, attractive to send MP3 files, which is a lot less bandwidth to people that you're trying to share your music with, or you just want to store more on your own devices. First, I want to point out there are a lot of apps that directly save to MP3. So for instance, if you're using Audacity, right, you just go right to File, Export Audio, and then um, Export to Computer. And here you would choose MP3 amongst the other different um, file formats. So MP3 is already done for you. Or let's say you're using the online um, notation app NoteFlight, right? When you go to Export That, um, Download, hit the Export button. Uh, MP3 is one of the things you can choose, right? So you can choose it and it'll just automatically make it an MP3 file for you. Last uh, example would be say Dorico, which is a great uh, music notation uh, app. If you go to export um, a file as audio, right? MP3 will be one of the solutions that you're given. So it, it doesn't even require any conversion when you're going from an app that already allows you to do that. Okay. But what to do if the app you're using does not allow for MP3 export, such as Finale? So for instance here, if I go to export audio file, the only choices I get are AIF or WAV. So let's just say I'm going to export this onto my desktop as an AIF file. And it's doing that right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that AIF file into Audacity, right? That's my first tip for you to convert an AIF or WAV file to MP3 is just use an app like Audacity that allows for that to happen. All right, so this has taken place. I can quit Finale now um, and I'll go out to my desktop and there it is. There's the file that I just exported and I'm just going to drag it into Audacity and then from Audacity export audio and we're going to choose MP3. And by the way, I would go for, ex, you know, so MP3 up here, but I would go for excessive, go for the highest. It's already compressed. It's not going to take up a lot of extra bandwidth and then say export. Let's put that on my desktop and it's doing it and boom, it's done. Now, uh, watch what happens. If I can look at this file, the AIF, right? The information for that, it says it was 36.8. So almost 37 megabytes. Whereas this MP3 file is only 7.7, so about 8, so much less, and yet they sound similar. Here's the beginning of the AIF. And here's the beginning of the MP3. Right, so for most ears, indiscernible. Okay, so a similar method, method number two, would be to use a DAW like GarageBand or Logic. So I'm going to open up a blank GarageBand file here um, for audio. Um, don't need those open. Uh, let's turn off the metronome and the count in. We don't want any clicks in our audio. All we want is the original file. We'll drag that in here. So there's the um, same uncompressed AIF. But now I'm going to share this export song to disk. This is how we, and let's call it F-O-O, -O. let's call it Foo, so it's easy to identify on our desktop. Make sure you choose MP3, right? And I, again, I would choose the highest quality of MP3. Since it's compressed, you're not going to, space isn't a problem, export. And it's now bouncing it to disk, or it's exporting it as a, an audio file, but as an MP3. And again, once that's done, we, we can shut down GarageBand, don't need that. And um, let's just compare the file size. It's... Um, even less, 6.4. So remember the other one when we did it with Audacity was 7.8, I think. So even less, and yet it sounds great, right? There we go. Okay, so that's method number two. A third method I'd like to show for Mac users is using the Apple Music app. And if it's configured properly, you can actually convert AIF to MP3. So for instance, go into Music, Settings, we're in the music app here, settings, and then under, uh, not general, but under files, choose import settings, 
and then there choose mp3 that's what you want to convert to mp3 and again choose the highest quality and say okay by the way once you do this once you never have to do it again you'll always have the choice of converting to mp3 um, unless you change it right so and then i'm going to drag in my uh, aif legend of the blue flame there it is now i select that i've just clicked on it and selected it and i'll go to um convert under the file menu and now it says create mp3 version see it wouldn't say that if i didn't make that settings adjustment that i just showed you but anyway once you've done that now under convert you'll have the choice create mp3 version and boom it just did and now i can drag that mp3 version out to my desktop um, and let's see what the file size is of that uh, that's even less it's 4.6 and again let's see what it sounds like Sounds great, right? So, three ways to convert AIF or WAVE to MP3, which is about a tenth of the file size, and yet the quality of the sound is still great. So for sharing files or for storage on your own device, opening up more storage, this is one way. By the way, there's tons of other ways to do it. I'm just showing you three ways, and I hope this video has been helpful.